I Denise, how you doing? I've got your work up here and let's go ahead and get, get, get started looking through the pages. So got your personal identity to start, got your logo here. And one of my recommendations would be to, to present the logo a little bit larger than it is. Right now, the, the logo in the business card is larger than your actual logo presentation. So you might want to start the presentation with your logo. You know what I mean? Then go and show your business card, your um, envelope, and then your sticker. Um, sticker basically is just that. It's just a sticker with your logo on it. That's all. Um, you don't really even have to include that. These three, I think, are fine. But let's talk about the, the work itself. Okay, I, I think it would be smart to, to show this in the exact same um, proportions um, as you show in your original logo. So, so this is your original logo, right? Now, if you take a look at this logo here, you can see that the underline has been really been stretched out. I mean, you can clearly see it here and here. And it, it, it looks like the text or the type it's, is basically the same, but that is different. See how that starts way over on this side of the D? And these ones start like after the, um, uh, where the, you know, the, the left margin of the D, it starts after that. You can see that here too. So that's an inconsistency you'll want to address. Um, the size of the business card, remember business card is three and a half inches by two inches, three and a half wide, two inches high. So it would be a proportion would look something like that. This is too wide and too, um, too short and too wide. And then the, the, um, envelope itself should be a number 10 envelope. Um, that's a, a standard business size envelope. So research the dimensions of a number 10 envelope. Okay. Um, next for your, your, uh, um, sample sheet, sample sheet should be really should be presented on one page. Basically a sample sheet is just something saying, Hey, this is what you have. This is what you have to look forward to in the next couple minutes. Okay. Um, so these should all be on, on the same page. No, they're, they're only thumbnails. I mean, that poster can be that big. They're, they're only some thumbnails. So you're not really trying to show detail yet. It's just a little snippet of the work that's upcoming. You're showing the same work twice here. Okay. So you have, you have your one, two, three, you have your five pieces. That's good, but I wouldn't show the same shirt twice. Um, okay. So good job there. Okay. So let's move into your collateral design. So this is kind of weird because on your sample sheet, you're showing your work actually larger than you're showing your, your work in your actual uh, section head, the collateral design. On this page, I would suggest that you, you show maybe one page per, okay? So this would be collateral design, and then, you, you know, you would show the, the uh, poster on one page. Then you turn the page, collateral design, a direct mailer, then you show the direct mailer. Okay, and then the book cover. Now, do you see what I'm saying? Instead of showing, trying to jam all your pieces in collateral design on the same page. Okay, so then you have your one, two, three, four collateral design pieces, four, five. Okay, so that looks like it's part of this just by the way it's presented. Okay, so that's, all right, now this piece here, um, I would suggest this piece here. I would suggest that you recompose your, your type. Um, and, and I would suggest that you recompose your type and left align it. It's going to be a lot easier to read specifically since you're showing images in the background and it's going to be difficult to read anyway. So you want to kind of make it easier. I also suggest. Now, I would change the typeface. This typeface is really, really difficult to, to read. The, the baseline is shifting, and that in conjunction with the fact that a lot of the first letters are bolded. So this is really hard to read. I would suggest using a sans serif typeface, something more traditional, maybe something from the universe, Futura, or Gill's Sans family. Um, but you definitely want these to be legible. Left align legibility. Think about that. Also, quite typically in terms of hierarchy, the name of the song is going to appear larger than the type of the, um, where the lyrics are presented in. Okay. Um, 
All right, so is that the back cover and then that's the inside? Where's where's the front cover? That's the front cover. I see. Okay, I get it now. Okay, got it. All right, so then your thumbnails. Thumbnails um, look fantastic. I'm just wondering, like, you keep on saying future employers. If we go back to the project specs, it says title of the piece, the purpose of the piece, who the piece was created for, and and so I'm not real sure what. You, you didn't create this for future employers. I mean, you created it. Presumably, it would be okay to say this was created for um See, just, you know, created for, you know, created for a CD design class or just say thumbnails. Um, and then for the name of the project, the CD project. Okay. So you created the th thumbnails for the CD project. You didn't create the thumbnails for future employers. I hope that makes sense. Uh, these might, you might consider putting your sketches in Photoshop and just bumping up the levels a little bit to increase the contrast so we can see these a little better. Highly, highly recommend you do not show sketches on their side. Um, orient them so it's going to be easiest for the viewer to, to view them. Okay. Um, corporate design. Okay. So business card again, watch the, uh, dimensions of the business card. Um, this is an eight and a half by 11. So watch your dimensions. Also, you're going to typically use a return address or some sort of, uh, contact information on the letterhead business card itself is is should be uh, oriented towards the correct proportions of a business card likewise with the, the uh, envelope um I, I would use you know you might as well use your logo on the envelope as long as you're using it on on your business card and, and your another little trick is to when you place your logo try to place it it, it would really be nice and consistent if you were to place the logo in the upper left Place it in the upper left on your business card. Try to make your business card look like a little bit like your um, letterhead. Okay, next page is digital graphic design. These pieces, let me see. I think, yeah, yeah. don't show the, this shirt twice. It's, it kind of makes it look like you're trying to make, make it seem like there's two shirts, but there's not, so don't show them twice. Um, Okay, so I just want to check something real quick. Okay, sample sheet. I also, I want you to notice that whenever you place your type, watch your type, watch it jumping around the page a little bit. See, it jumps right there, jumps back there, there, there. See how it's moving around the page? You want your type to start at the same spot on every page. Okay, so, uh, and then digital graphics design, uh, add layout and print design. Okay, then you have Okay, then you have uh, all right. So all right. So you have thumbnails process book, corporate identity, web and digital media. Okay, so you got one, two, three, or four, five sub pages. That's good. I highly recommend placing some text in your sub pages. To, and also don't forget your sub pages need links too. Your sub pages should be designed just like your main page. Um, because once you're on your sub pages, you'll need a, still need navigation to get around. You know what I mean? So I would include the navigation on the sub pages, but also include the, the, uh, footer on the sub pages as well. I recommend using the same type face for your headers in all of your, um, Sub pages, package design. I think this page, I, I think this, this piece looks excellent. Good job showing the product, uh, uh, production file and the product shot. Good job there. Um, if this is a die line, you're going to want to make sure that you cut that bleed out of there. Right now you just have, looks like, a color block over your die line. So you definitely want to make sure that you pull that to bleed. Okay, and then electives. Electives are actually, if you take a look at electives, electives are actually in week five. So we won't be looking at electives right now. Okay, so take those, um, those, those, what I've mentioned, okay, and try, start working on those. And 
for the next, uh, you know, uh, typically students will work on this work and then they'll keep working on it throughout the duration of the semester. So go ahead and work on, keep working on these while you're compiling your work for the next uh, presentation. But but just keep my comments in mind and, and, and work as, as according. Um, to my specifications and requirements and requests. Okay, if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't con don't uh, feel feel free. Don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I should be around after Christmas, so I'll be around next week, all week. So even though you guys aren't required to submit anything, I'll be here. So if you work on your work, you want to submit it for for a review, I'll be more than glad to do so. All right, thanks very much.